Hello there, I'm Dave Allen, I'm Good and Geeky, and today we're having a look at what we can do with making a movie database, or a TV database, or a books database in Obsidian. And the first thing you want to do is to go into your templater, because you're going to need the templater thing. So if you haven't got uh, the templater set up ready, go and get that. This is the plugin which will give you the necessary things as we want to do this with. Now, as you can see, I've got it set up, so I've got some template hotkeys. So I can quickly put in a books template here, uh, just using that there, and I've got a hotkey setup for that there, and a hotkey setup for the movies template as well. And I should also do one for the TV. So let's do that now. So add a new hotkey for a template, and I want the template going to be TV, and choose that one there, and then I can click on this plus key to configure the hotkey. Let's do that now, and it takes us into this one here. And you see the ones I've got already set up there. So let's uh, insert this one here and click on plus, press the hotkey, and I'll use the control and T for this. Control shift out and T. Okay, that one worked. This one's with uh, toggle in bold, control and B, so I'm going to have to change that as well. So let's uh, restore default. Okay, there's no default for it. So let's do this here. And I'm going to do Control Shift and um, 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 B. Okay, that works. Okay, so that's kind of that set that all up nicely. So I've got a template here for books, templates, movies, templates, and TV series. So that's one way of doing it. Now, a better way to do this is to instead of having t t template hotkeys, is to go to this one here when you've got when you add a new uh, file in a folder for the template to be automatically set up. So this one here, Pages, Culture, TV Series. So I've put a new note into the TV series. It's going to automatically use this TV series template. And the same with this one here, Pages, Culture, Books. So I've got a template for that one there, and I should also do one for movies. So let's add a new folder here. And this one here is going to be Movies. And the template I want to use this one here is going to be Movies. So movies template, okay, so that's set that up. So we've got the um, thing set up to use the templates, but we've got to set up the templates as well. So let's go to our um, folders here. Let's uh, get rid of pages for the moment. Let's look into templates. Got quite a lot of templates in there so far. And let's go to the movies template. Let's click on this uh, this one here so we can see what we've got in there. Now the way I'll set this up in the YAML data at the top here, I'll set it up so that there's just the tags and movies in there. And that works for me. In this one here, this is a template um, thing which is automatically sort of put into the top of the template. And I'll show you that how that works shortly. And then I've got a date, because usually when you're putting in these move, new movies, you're setting it up on the day that you actually watch the movie. So this is going to work, in which I've case I've got this one here, which I'll put in the year, month and day, and I'll show you how that works shortly. And with this one here, I've set this up here, so basically what I'm going to get, do is I'm going to get the, uh, the IMDB link and put it in there instead of the three X's. So there's going to be two different ways of making a database. So let's go to my books database. Click on that. I'll set this up using data view. So the way it works is this. So you put in there, you want a table. Then you want to put in there the things that you want from your table. So I've got author, genre, rating, reading now. And I've just set that as now. So I've, in the database, it's going to set up, show as now rather than that, all of this here. So just to make it shorter. And then date finished as done. And then how. Okay, because sometimes I read books and sometimes I listen to books, which is why I want it in this one here with how. And it's going to come from the tag books. So this one here I've set up so that it comes, so I don't want, I want everything with a file name that doesn't include books template. So if you've got a book, if it's a books template, I don't want it in this database. And then I've also got where, status, and to read. Basically that actually is going to, kick out anything that's uh, to read in there. And then I've got a sort, data finished and have it so that it is descending. Come out of that now. At the moment I've just got 17 in there. And the reason I've got 17 in there is because a lot of books that I've read, 
I've had in Goodreads. Now I like Goodreads. Goodread is good. And the thing about Goodreads which is good about it is that you're connected up with other people who read books. You get emails in from Goodreads and it recommends books for you. Okay, so these are books that have all come in from Goodreads. At some point in time what I'll do is I'll go through these files here. So this is the file. So I'll go through this file here and I'll split this out into separate books. And I've got this all set up. And if you've noticed I've set up, I did do a video where I showed how I took the information out of Goodreads and I changed it so that it's a bit more readable here. So let's go to this one here. Running behind time. Okay, so that was Shift, Control, Alt and 5. And that put in those five stars for me. Let's go and have a look at this other database I've got in here. This is Books to Read. And this one here, I'm going to go to this here. And let's change this here, edit this block. So in this one here, I've got the table again. And I've got it set so I'm just looking for author, genre and how. I'm not sure if I need that how in there, but let's get rid of that in fact. I don't need how in there, do I? Genre. From books, so anything with the tag of books in this folder and where the status is to read. And sort, date finished, and then have it in uh, descending order. Okay, so that's where I've got to set that database up. Let's go back into uh, the view. And you can see that I've got uh, Make Good Art, and it's a book I want to read at some point in time by Neil Gaiman. And I can have a look there, I've even got a uh, picture in there of the front of the book. So that's cool. So that's one way of making a database with data view. Data view, I like it, works fairly well. There's another way that you can do it, but it probably works a little bit better. So let's go first of all and have a look at our templates and see what we've got down our templates for TVs. So here's my TV series template. So I've got this set up, so again, so I've got just the tags at the top there, and I've just set the one tag up, TV. And then in this one here, I've got this uh, TP file title. That's gonna come in through Templator. I've got the date watched in there, and that's going to come in through Templator. So that's my template set up there. Let's go into this here now, where I've got the actual database. Now this looks a little bit nicer, doesn't it? Because you've got actually a table set out like nicely in this one here. And I've got this set up so that it brings a title first of all, the series comes in here, the episode, actors, if I've put an actors in there, then I've got ratings, and I've got date watched in here. Let's say I want to add Luther. So what I'm going to do is add a new note. And you see it's already brought this in here. And let's say uh, Luther, put that in there. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete all this here. And I'm going to add, the temp add this template again. Okay, so now this come in there this time and it's brought it in automatically. So it's got today's date in there, it's got the title which came in automatically, and um, so it's going to put a series in there, so zero, 01. Quite enjoyed the series, so let's do a, um, a 5 in there. Okay, so that now has updated itself, and Luther's in there, look. Okay, so we've uh, had a look at, uh, see what we can do to organise this a bit better, and what I can do with this here is I go into the database settings and open those there. Let's scroll down a wee bit and show number select number of select the number of rows to show per page. At the moment it's set to 10, and that's going to change that to show 100. Okay. Now you see now I've got 11 in there showing more than 10, which is what I wanted. So if I want to embed media into this here, because I've put a picture into this one here with C. Let's go to C. And see I've got a picture in there. So this should be now available in the database. Let's come out of this here, navigate back into the database again. Let's scroll to the end here. Where would I want to put the picture? So I'm going to click on plus here. I'm going to add another column and I'm going to select an existing column to add. And the one we want to put in there is called picture. Click on this one here to get it to go in. So create the selected column and refresh the table. So my picture should be in there now. Yay, look, there it is. So we've got the TV series template. And I have to change that now so I can put in there the picture as well. 
and then two of those in there in the space. So now I can add pictures to that easily as well if I want to. So if you've got a big database and you want to look for something in particular, you can find it in here by using the search there. And you can also put filters in there too. Let's add a filter where and if it contains Apple. Okay. So if I watch that Apple, it's going to come in there, okay? That's my table filter. If I want to turn the filter off, there you go. Filter turned off and filter turned on. Okay, something else that you can do when you're working with this here is that you can put details into this here. So with, for instance, with Pretty Little Liars, if I want to put something into there, I've taken the name of the actress from IMDB. I'll do Control and V and put it in there. And so I can change the rating in there as well if I want to. Now with changing the rating, what you can't do is you can't use that thing where you use the uh, hotkey to put in a template. So if I do that template for uh, the five star there, that's not going to work. Template error, can't do it. So the only way that I'll get that into there is by going into one of these other ones here, selecting that and copying that there. Go back into this one here and then do a control V to put that in there. And then as soon as I come out of there, you see that worked, okay? Now what's interesting about this is that anything you put into this here actually will go into the file for Pretty Little Liars. So if I go to Pretty Little Liars now over here, click on that there, and you'll see that uh, the actor's name was put in there, look. So I did that from the database. And also this rating here, I also did that from the database as well. So it works both ways. You can put in the details from the database, you can put the details from the file, and it all ends up in the database. How about that then? This is Dave Allen for Good and Geeky, telling you more stuff about Obsidian and Database Folder.